Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam Lee here. Soul Brothers, thanks for checking in with us. We're gonna hit you upside the head with a performance review yeah. of a kind of uh, obscure shoe. Um, it's from Adidas. This is the D-Rose Englewood Boost. So is it coming out? It's out, yeah, but you can find it online. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a US site, I found it on one site. It's kind of an obscure shoe. The whole Englewood series is kind of obscure. It's kind of like a lower, you know, it's like his third or fourth Sig, right? I yeah. mean, he's got a few Sigs. Um, and he's not really balling crazy right now, and there's not a lot of hype behind him or his shoes. So I don't know why Adidas is doing that. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, but this is it. Um, and this beautiful... Shout out to Connor Livingston. The homie, the plug. The Locker Room Sports. Go yes. check him out. His IG, Colliver's 15. So. Yeah. It's go. cool, man. He just stays sending us shit, and we're stoked. Um, these, I was like, I got these in, and I was like, what the fuck? It's a weird looking shoe, weird colorway, but I hooped in them uh, quite a bit, and this is my performance review. Let's start with the traction D Rose 5. Your side traction. Very good. That's it. Very good. Um, incredible. Really good. Well, I, I don't know. It's really, really good. I mean, I didn't wipe once, I don't think. Uh, bite is super hard. What more can you ask for? I mean, that's pretty much as good as it gets. Um, the rubber seems pretty hard. You could probably mess around with these outdoors. Um, you know, although I didn't play outdoors in these. Um, underneath that is a stable frame, a big, you know, the big X stable frame, which is nice. Um, so traction nine, you know what I mean? I just, for some reason, don't want to say 10, but it's, it's up there. Um, now, cushion, full length boost, uh, almost full length. It's not full length. It's not full length, but think. it comes up to here, which is kind of near. It's a weird shape. Oh, maybe it just this shape is where it stops. Um, it's hard to see. Like you, you know, it's hard to tell if it really goes underneath here. I doubt it. So it's like three quarters of the way boost. And you don't even need boost in the forefoot. No, you can't really. feel it. Yeah, they, they thin it out so much you can't feel it anyways. But I guess it's good because like it gives you impact protection better. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to like uh, Addy Preen yeah. uh, foam, you know? Yeah. So um, cushion was good. It was pretty good. I mean, it's like the D Rose 5. You can feel it in the heel a little bit. Um, forefoot, nothing. So you get a ton of response in the forefoot. A little bit of impact protection. Um, so it's, it's nice, it's very, very nice. For me, I like some impact protection, so it's up there, you know, it's around an eight, uh, maybe even a nine, um, as, far as, as far as cushion for me. You still get a ton of response on the forefoot, keep that in mind, so that's dope. Um, and then the rest is kind of just like a normal, uh, the rest of the midsole is like a real hard, like almost like an adipreen, just like a straight adipreen or even- Adipreen sucks. Yeah, adipreen sucks. Um, so cushion, I enjoyed. Now moving on to the upper, uh, this is just like a very, very fine mesh textile mesh material. Um, uh, it's hard to even describe this material, but then uh, there's an external heel counter that comes, wraps around into a midfoot strap. What does it do? Uh, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a piece of uh, seaweed. <laughs> uh, I want some sushi. Looks like a piece of kale right here. But. Um, does it do anything? It does a little bit. Really? Yeah, it does. I could feel it just a little bit. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but it's probably definitely not necessary. But uh, it does hold you down a little bit in the forefoot, and you can get it to tighten a little bit. Um, as far as materials go, it's it's definitely not spectacular. It's a little budget. Feels a little budget. Very bulky. It's very bulky feeling, and it's also very very puffy. Very thick. The whole upper is like a pillow which makes it very comfortable and it's nice and cozy, but that's like if you're wearing slippers and you're trying to hit the store. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, when I'm balling, I'm not trying to do that. I'm, I want more of a minimal feeling upper. So it's a little too cushiony for me, although it's very comfortable. So uh, materials, uh, not great. Uh, maybe six, right? Maybe, maybe a seven. So uh, now moving on to the fit. Fit was good. Um, in this, I went to a 13 and a half, so I went a half size down like you need to do in most Adidas shoes. All Adidas um, shoes. So, you know, fit was good. Um, 
I have a narrow foot. I didn't really have too many problems. The fit in this is a little more normal. Um, I, I did have to crank, uh, crank the laces down a little bit. And uh, so fit was good. Now, here's one issue I had, lockdown. Uh, Adidas is just killing it with the heel lockdown slippage. There's absolutely no, they're it just goes it. straight up. I don't know how they're doing it, man. But um, I, 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 what I had to do is crank the top laces down, the ones closest to my ankle, down really hard. And it did eliminate some of it. And also, the more I wore it, it broke in a little bit and it got a little better. So it, it, it's not a deal breaker, but it is a little annoying. Um, so that's, you know, heel lockdown sucked. Um, four foot lockdown was pretty good, especially with this uh, uh, midfoot strap. Uh, now support, it's pretty good. It's a low, so you're gonna get no ankle support. But uh, you know, it's pretty wide. You feel pretty stable in the shoe. The boost isn't too squishy as to where it's super unstable. Um, so support is also good. Now touching on, touching on ventilation real quick. Uh, hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's There's a pillow. There's no freaking ventilation, dude. It's There's a fucking no pillow. or anything. Yeah, it feels like a fucking slipper, dude. It's <laughs> crazy. Um, so it's hot. Um, now durability. Ew. Yeah, I think it should be good. Yeah, it, it should be all right. Some of these materials feel a little, a little doesn't cheap, seem like it's gonna like but rip it or anything. Yeah, it doesn't see, feel like it's gonna rip. The stitching is good. You know, all the glue work is good. The outsole is very durable, so you can fuck with these outdoors um, without a problem. Uh, so let's weigh this sucker real quick. Uh, I'm feeling it's gonna be kind of heavy. Hold up. Okay. Yep. 18.5 ounces. Yeah. So as, as far as my shoes go, and it's a half size down, uh, it, that's pretty heavy. And does it feel heavy on the foot? Yeah, it feels heavy. And you don't feel light on your feet either, meaning, um, it's kind of puffy uh, and it just feels kind of sloppy in there that the, the heel slippage affects that also so you don't definitely don't feel that on your foot if you're a small guard or you want to be quick this is not your shoe this is more of like a big man shoe uh, in my opinion uh, aesthetics nah dog negative what are you gonna say I think it looks dope you do? no okay I, the, the black and red colorway or the black colorway was kind of, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely looks better in another colorway, but for sure. But this colorway is just, uh, Yeah. It's a, it's a weird looking shoe. Yeah. Um, okay, wrapping things up. These are about $100 uh, retail. Uh, we got these in for free. Um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting much from this shoe at all. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. It was better than I thought it was. Traction was insane. Cushion was great. Um, there, it's a shoe does have some problems, uh, like I, like I just mentioned. So this is, it would never make it into my rotation, but it's an interesting shoe. And for a cheap budget model, it's not bad, especially if you want a ton of impact protection, you want a low, you're maybe a big guy who just trying to, trying to be in the post. It's, it's not a bad shoe. So, you know, I, uh, I'm on the verge. I, you know, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, there's plenty of other shoes that would probably be better at the same price, Yes. but it's not horrible. So it, I don't know. We'll just leave it there. Um, but that's it. This is the D Rose Englewood Boost. That's our performance review. Hope we helped you guys out and we'll catch you guys in the next one later. Peace.